Hey YouTube, this is Joe Bay, Joe Bay, and today I will teach you how to install Windows 7 on your Mac for free. So, as you can see right here, I'm running Mac. So, and I can just move over one, slide over desktops. You could see that I am actually running Windows 7. This is full Windows 7, side by side, and it's all for free. I'm actually downloading a Microsoft Flight Simulator. I bought it, so don't, so it's not illegal. Um, so you can see it's side by side. It's not using Boot Camp, which you have to restart and actually boot into it. And then if you want to get back into Mac, you have to turn the computer off and log back into the Mac OS. So first thing you want to do is download um, Windows if you don't have it. I'll give you two links for uh, free trials. And if you have it on CD, that makes life that much easier. So if you have it, you could just uh, skip until the up on annotation to skip to the next part um, for you to say if you do not have uh, Windows already and you need to download something for uh, legal like legally um, I'll put two links in the description one is a 90 day trial for uh, I don't know what Windows is for this is just for a window for Windows 7 um, and this one I don't know if that one works um, it's a trial so I'm guessing it would and this one I've used before. It's a Windows 7 Enterprise 90 day trial. So this is like the uh, most expensive trial version. And you have to just enter your first name, last name. Um, just so they get some information. I've done it multiple times, but it's only 90 days. Um, you like, you don't have to put, like, obviously, I'm a kid. I don't, I'm not an IT worker, but, um, you just put some stuff down and then they email you a link. And once you click the link, it uh, downloads it for you. So just put some info down, um, download it. Once you download it, it should uh, ha have a long name. I just renamed it with the .iso. It should be a package looking like this. So this is what Windows basically has. Like this is what this is in a package like this. So that's step one. Step two, um, which is what everyone now needs, is there's multiple things you could use for this. You could use VMware Fusion, which costs money. You could use Boot Camp, but you need to then burn the thing, the file to a CD, which this you do not need to burn to a CD, and it's free. So first, you want to go to Google or just go to the link I have in the description and type in VirtualBox. Let's move this out of the way and put my mic down so I can type. So I just want to go to downloads and you're just going to download for OS X. So if you're on a Mac wanting to run Windows or if you're on a Windows wanting to run Mac. Um, this video is only showing how to get Windows on a Mac but um, there are ways to get Mac OS on Windows. It's the same program. Just go on a Google Mac OS um, yeah, just download. Want to click that link? It's gonna download. I'm gonna click discard, but you're gonna to want to click keep because I already have it. So once that downloads, you're gonna to want to open that up. It should look like this. Oops, wrong one. I'll also open a new one up for you. This is the same program I used in my Siri proxy video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link right or I'll put an annotation. So let me find it. Why isn't it showing up? Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna open, open it up. It looks like this now. You're obviously not gonna see Windows because I, this is that machine there. So what this program does it basically makes so that, imagine this being a computer allowing you to run something else. So I'm on a Mac right now, running Mac OS over here. This is gonna allow me to run Windows 7. So basically, make the computer Windows 7. Make a secondary computer called a virtual machine. Virtual machine. Sorry. So you're gonna want to click New. This is when you have Windows 7 done downloading. Click Continue. You're gonna call this a name. I'm just gonna go Windows 7. You're gonna want to select version. It's gonna show it for me because I typed Windows 7. Make sure it says Microsoft Windows Windows 7. 
click continue you have to select RAM you need a minimum of 512 for this to work um, um, because that's just what Windows requires I'm gonna recommend about like 675 700 just to get the best speed you get, like usually my a max have anywhere from two to eight gigabytes minus four gigabytes of RAM click continue click create a hard disk unless you have a, a partial hard disk like if you have a uh, or an external hard disk you want to use it use as click continue click continue again click dynamic and then you just want to choose how big you want the physical uh, hard drive to be um, Windows actually requires at least 16 gigabytes of hard drive so I'm not actually um, doing this but it takes to, uh, like an hour to physically like, install Windows so I'm just gonna put a little bit just so I could show you what you have to actually do click create and then click create so now this guy appeared over here you're gonna wanna double click it to turn it on and that's basically turning on a computer it's gonna realize this is your first time turning it on it's gonna help you set it up gonna click continue um, this is where you wanna select the physical um, Windows 7 program. Um, you could put it on a, on a DVD, but that just takes time, and you need a DVD. Um, so you just select the CD drive from here. So all I did was just click the oh, disappeared. Let me cancel it. So all I did was just click the uh, this guy right here, and it lets me choose the the um, where the program is Windows. So I save mine on desktop to make it uh, really easy. So just tap on Windows. If you are saved it on a USB, you're going to go to your USB port and open it up from there. Remember, it has to be a packaged Windows.iso file. Click Open. Click Continue. So it's going to then show you. Uh, mine's 3.48 gigabytes, my file. Going to click Start. And that's going to... Th I'm going to... Uh, just click cancel because I already have it installed and that's gonna then start the installation process it's gonna ask you um well it's gonna give me an hour I think but yeah it's no bootable because I, I click cancel but once you start it it's gonna say loading windows it's that's when it's gonna ask you for all the questions like what your username is what your password is what your Wi-Fi network is what your like all that information as if you were to get a new computer so I'm just going to actually delete this because I don't need us wasting up some memory. And so once it's installed, um, you're you're basically just like a Windows. So you can install stuff and um, you run it side by side. So if you're wondering how I got it to be full screen like this, but the chances are that it could it's going to be like this. Oops, other one click switch when you first get it, it's probably gonna be like this so I'm actually might like it like this so you could uh, play a game here do homework there vice versa or just do whatever you want um, you could adjust the different sizes so if you want to change the size just click view let me minimize this click view and do switch to full screen it's going to ask you click switch and then that basically is um, how you get a full screen and so that you have a program on your Mac that you want to get onto your PC without emailing it like say so you have a big uh, one gigabyte file or game that you want to bring on your uh, Windows so what we're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to, oops, you want to do view, switch to scale mode, just so you could access the top menus, and then once you see this, you're gonna want to then go to devices and install guest auditions. That's gonna then, um, I already did it. It's gonna open a box here. You're gonna click next. It's gonna reboot the machine and stuff like that. Was installing a program on the virtual machine. Once you have that done. You click shared folders under devices, and then you just click the add icon over here. And say I want to add, let's say I want to add stuff 
onto this PC. I'm going to click down, click other, and find on my desktop stuff with one F. <laughs> I'm going to click choose, click OK, click OK, and now I'm going to make this larger again. And then I'm going to want to go to start my computer. Um, you're gonna. It's not going to be under devices, which uh, says guest editions. That's just the program. You're going to actually want to go to under network. And then you're going to see your name here. And then you're going to see uh, VBO access VR, which is going to appear after installing the guest editions. Double click that. And then you're going to suddenly see stuff. And then all the files in here. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them. Um, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. Um, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching.